Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here and wanted to do a quick video today on a motherboard I just got in the mail. This is one of those uh, Chinese motherboards uh, I'm sure some of you might have heard about. This is the uh, X79 Turbo or known as the X79T or Plex HD is what it goes by a lot. Um, that's what it's called on AliExpress. I got this one on eBay. It was about $70 shipped and it actually came pretty quick. I ordered it. Uh, I think back on the like the 5th, and today is the 16th. Um, so I would do a quick overview of it um, before I do a build. Uh, I do have um, a couple Xeons I'm going to try in here, an X2, fifth, or, uh, excuse me, uh, E5-2650, and then also I have a E5-2670, or 2667V2 on the way. So that's actually a pretty um, high clock chip. So I think that one should actually be pretty good for games. Um, so here's a socket here in the middle, the LGA 2011 for V1, V2 uh, chips. It's got quad channel memory. Um, so if you use four of the same DIMMs, um, it'll actually run it in quad channel. So I'll be doing 32 gigabytes of desktop, desktop memory, um, non-ECC, but it should run in quad channel at 1600 uh, megahertz, which would be like the equivalent of 3200 uh, for DDI4. So pretty good way to kind of make your DDR3 last. Um, Kind of over here on the side, it's got a PS2 port, um, a f a six USB 2s, a USB 3 um, gigabit uh, LAN, which I believe that's a Realtek chip, and then it's got the just the audio, which I believe is also Realtek, and then it's got three um, PCI slots. Uh, they should run at 3.0 as the processor supports it. Um, these two are. Um, 16x I think if you run two video cards I'm not sure if this one actually runs at 16x or 8x it might be 8x I'd have to double check and I know this one only runs at 4x it does have an NVMe I know some people said that they weren't getting the full uh, NVMe uh, gen 3 speeds but I think as long as you set it up correctly in the BIOS uh, it should run at the full speed I do have a um, a Gen 3 NVMe 512 gigabyte that I'm going to um, try and diff will do some speed tests and try and get it running at full speed. Uh, and then as long I also have an RX 580 I'll be putting in here um, that I just picked up recently. Um, so it's got a couple PCI-1 uh, slots. Um, and then down here you got the front panel audio, USB 3.0, uh, front header, um, you got your, just your front uh, buttons and, you know, power uh, LED and hard drive status. Uh, looks like a COM port or serial port. Uh, a couple USB 2.0s, uh, just two of those. Uh, I think this is for um, like kind of like a status or like a debug port for like the, the builders. Um, you know, like flashing BIOSes and stuff like that. I'm not really too sure about that. Um, you got two uh, fans here. One's um, four pin, one three pin. You also have another uh, four pin over here for the CPU. So kind of limited on the fan ports. Those are the only ones on the board. Um, looks like this is a CMOS clear uh, header, uh, like your speaker, if you have like a your case has a speaker. Uh, power and reset switch, those are nice to have, especially um, when you're doing like some debugging. Um, here's the chipset in here. Mine was a B75, um, but it sounds like they can be all over the board, like get like an H series or a Q77 or just some of the 6 series, uh, Z68. I'm not sure on this specific motherboard, but they're all over the, the place. Uh, I was hoping to get a different chipset, like a Q77, because um, those come with uh, two US or SATA 3 ports instead of just um, one SATA 3 port. So actually, I, I don't know if this is only one port or if it's five, five by one. I'll have to try it out. Um, but I believe it only these are all SATA 2. I know these two are. I'm not sure if this is if one of the ports is dead or one is only going to run at half speed. So I'll have to see that. You just have your standard 24-pin uh, power uh, and then your 8-pin um, CPU power. Um, and that's just about it. I think there is um, the 6-pin here. I think there's some confusion on this. Uh, I don't think it actually is for adding more voltage to the motherboard. Uh, I think on some other boards you can actually add another 6-pin here and, or an 8-pin and it'll actually power uh, the PCI slots. I could be incorrect on that. I, I'm not super familiar. Um, but I think this is actually, if you need um, a 6-pin, you can add like a, a an extra wire 
um, for your CPU. But again, uh, I'd have to double check on that. And then you have your uh, VRMs on this. I know this is better than some like the Wannan boards um, where people are complaining about the VRMs getting too hot. So I think this is a, um, they call it an eight, uh, eight way VRM, but I think it's like a six plus two, something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah, so I'm excited to get this uh, board um, booted up. Should be my new uh, daily driver. Um, I, I, I sold one of my super micro uh, boards and um, you know, if I end up going with the Q70 or the E5-2667 uh, processor, that one's actually pretty fast. It has a pass mark score of um, a little over 16,000 and then a single thread score of 2,000. So that should keep up with some of the uh, kind of mid-range Ryzen chips and I only paid about 100 for that. So uh, excited to give that a try. Um, also, there's another uh, little LED status, um, you know, postcodes. I've had s other motherboards with that. Um, so it's always nice to have, especially if there's like an error. I don't know. I mean, this this board came with almost nothing. I mean, I mean, got the IO shield, a random SATA cable, and then you got this beat up box. It didn't even come with like any padding. It just came in the mail wrapped in like a plastic, um, kind of sleeve thing and it was all beat up but motherboard looks fine i'm not seeing any uh, bending or breaking um you know i've gotten worse motherboards shipped like correctly so i think you know this should be good uh pretty simple on the back um i know one thing that a lot of people mention is a lot of motherboards have like transistors here um or like just different like fuses and stuff um it's actually pretty bare on the back i know there is this L led strip that's red um, unless they changed it, I know that's lights up red, which is kind of weird for um, a motherboard that's green, but you know, whatever it's, I don't, I, I don't really have like a window case or anything, but I guess kind of cool. But yeah, so I should have a cooler coming tomorrow for this, um, so I can get it uh, powered up and uh, do some testing with it, but I'll, I'll definitely give you guys, um, some kind of initial thoughts, uh, once I get it going and hopefully I don't have any issues. I know a lot of people like to kind of, you know, bash on these boards, but I, I think they're fun and. You know, I enjoy tinkering with this, this stuff and, you know, worst case, if it doesn't work out, I can always, um, you know, try something else out. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't pay too much for this. In fact, I think I paid, I had a bunch of eBay bucks. Um, so I ended up paying like $39 for this. So uh, I'll definitely let you guys know how it works out and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. All right. See you guys later.